Kanzo. Welcome back again to uh, Wade Fine Art. Um, in this piece, we're going to be working on the giraffe from the previous bouquet background piece that we worked on. And basically, I'm using a piece of, trans of transfer paper and uh, transparency paper, and I've drawn the uh, giraffe onto the tra uh, tra tra tracing paper. And then I will use the transfer paper underneath and you can see I got it centered where I wanted it and then I will raise the bottom up and put the transfer paper underneath there and then begin to use my tracing pen. Okay, and you want to remove the bottom tape that you used to hold it steady with so that you can place the transfer paper underneath and we're using the white transfer paper so that it, that it doesn't have any dark lines um, remi remaining on the uh, painting once we're done. And then you're going to want the shiny smooth side to go against your canvas because that's the side with the transfer media. And you want the flat side um, facing your drawing. And then you will just, once you have it steadied and you make sure the Okay, and next I'm going to use my uh, little tracing pen here which you can get from Amazon a pack of three I'll have a link for those in the book description below and I'm just going to use the smallest end to begin tracing out the giraffe pattern onto the canvas and by doing this using the transfer paper and the transparency paper it saves you time of having to just redraw everything over again onto your canvas. This way you can just draw it once and then just trace it on there. And if you ever want to use this image for a, a different piece or on a different type of media or whatever, you have it where you don't have to just redraw it. You can just use transfer paper to retrace it onto your new, uh, your new piece. And again, just continuing to do this and then I'm going to speed this up. Okay, and next I just used a, I believe that's a number four, can't recall for sure if it's a number two or number four flat, but I'll have the correct one listed in the description below with a link to the plate where you can purchase these brushes. But I just began using the white to fill in everything and then fill, uh, continue to go back over it until I had it completely filled in. So that way that when I go to put my next colors for the shadows and the details onto the giraffe, they will show up. And that will just, I just continue to fill these in and, and go back over them with more white until I have them completely filled in. And then I will go ahead and speed this up right here as it's just me continuing to go back over and fill these in until I have them good and solid and filled in to where I cannot see the background.
Okay, and now I just began using some of that that light purple that I used in the back, using some of that purple that I used on the background for the bouquet uh, background to begin filling in the white for the main color of the giraffe. And then I'll just continue to work on those stripes with that, with that violet or purple color, making sure I have them good and filled in and solid and, and looking, um, having the contrast and um, everything uh, the way it should be and I'll just continue to work on that filling that in until I have it looking the way out it needs to look or the way I want it to look and then at this point I'm gonna go ahead let's go ahead and speed this up because it's just uh, more of filling in the body of the giraffe Okay, and now I just began using some of that that light purple that I used in the back, using some of that purple that I used on the background for the bouquet uh, background to begin filling in the white for the main color of the giraffe, and then I'll just continue to work on those stripes with that with that violet or purple color, making sure I have them good and filled in and solid and and looking. Um, having the contrast and um, everything uh, the way it should be. And I'll just continue to work on that, filling that in until I have it looking the way out it needs to look or the way I want it to look. And then at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, let's go ahead and speed this up because it's just uh, more of filling in the body of the giraffe. Okay, and now I'm using some black to kind of put in some details on the hooves and fill in some shadow on the tail as well as some detail on the head. And then once I have completed putting in the details on the hooves and the tail and, and some of the detailing on the head, then I will begin using this black to outline the different sections of the, of the uh, giraffe. And then we'll go ahead and speed this up as it's just me using that black to put some shadow and outlining each section of the giraffe's body.
Okay, getting my piece recentered here on my easel. Getting it tightened down good where it'll stay centered. I'm going to take a stencil and tape it to where I want the image to go onto the piece and then once I have it taped down in place I'm going to use a stenciling brush which is a, um, has a sponge on the end and then I'm going to dip it into the white paint to begin stenciling in the uh, branch with the birds on it and once I, uh, I'll just continue to dip it into the paint and then dab it over the image. Again, my tape wasn't wanting to stay stuck, so I had to keep messing with it until I got it to stay. Let's just zoom this in on the stencil now. Begin dabbing the paint on with the stencil and brush. Okay, now I'm going to use the exact same colors that I used on the background in the giraffe to begin filling in the uh, tree branch and the leaves on the tree branch as well as filling in the birds. And again, all of the paint and brushes and supplies and everything that I've used in this in this video that I use on this piece will be listed in the description of below along with links for purchasing these. Again, using that same violet color I used on the giraffe and in the background because we want all of this to look like it's one piece, not something that's been pasted into a separate image. Again, I believe that is a number zero liner brush. And again, I have links to these uh, in the description. And again, just continuing to fill this in, and I will be using this as well as other br another brush, I believe, which will be a number two liner brush to fill in, or a number two flat to fill in the leaves and put some highlights and things on the uh, branch. And I will go ahead and speed this up at this point as it is just me filling in this branch and uh, putting the highlights and things on the branch as well as filling in the leaves and then filling in the birds.
Okay, and here is the final piece with everything on it except for the signature. And we'll zoom out where you can see it, get a good look at the whole thing again. And then I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you in the next video. Okay, and now for the final prop step of this piece, which is putting my signature on the piece. Just get my easel steadied here and get the piece nice and secure. And then using a general's charcoal pencil, I'm going to first write it on there with the charcoal pencil. Get it looking nice with the charcoal pencil. And then I will go over it with a liner brush and the choice of paint color that I want to use for my signature. And then there we'll have the finished piece. Okay, and now to do the final part, which is to sign it with a liner brush and the paint. Just have a nice roll on there and just smooth and you want to do this in separate strokes you want to, don't want to try to do this in all in one stroke or it'll start getting really um, messy so you want to kind of do one stroke and then come down and then do another one and then you can go back and touch up areas where the you might have ran out of paint touch on there and then there's the signature and there is the final part of this piece and once again here is the final piece I hope you enjoyed uh, following along with me on this and I hope you got something out of it hope to see you in the next video be sure to give it a like and subscribe so you can be notified when my videos are out